Hey, what is up my beauties and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Silver Monique and if you are new here, welcome. My name is Silver and from my channel you will get all different types of videos, tips, tricks, DIY, hair videos, lock videos, mommy videos, lifestyle, just a bunch of different things. I do a lot of things. So, welcome. And then if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I love you guys. Now let's go ahead and get into it. As you guys can see from the title, uh, what's going on. And so I do want to put a disclaimer out there before I get into this video. I just want to let you guys know that I am not a health professional. I am not a nurse, I am not a doctor, okay? These are just tips and tricks that have worked out for me, okay? So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you guys do not miss on, out on any uploads. So the first two that I'm gonna talk about are two things that kind of go like hand in hand to me personally. The first tip that I wanna say that has helped me to increase my breast milk production is just eating more. So I found out that if I'm not eating or if I'm just not eating enough throughout the day that I have a lower milk production. So I have to eat, eat, eat. And so for me, I don't really have like specific things that I eat that I feel that increases my breast milk production. I just make sure that I eat. And so I'm eating breakfast, I'm eating lunch, I'm eating dinner, and I'm snacking throughout the day. And so sometimes I might eat more than five meals a day. But I feel like I have to eat a lot more because not only do I need to increase my milk production, but I'm also like losing weight if that makes sense like I'm getting skinny and so I feel like I need to eat so I can gain some weight and to also increase that milk production and then my second tip that I would say that has helped me to increase my milk production is drinking lots and lots of water I have my water bottle I keep this thing on me okay I keep it on me so if you don't got a water bottle, make sure you got a water bottle. Eating and drinking go hand in hand to me because if I'm eating a lot throughout the day, if I'm eating, I have to drink something, right? I can't just eat, 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 be dry mouth and not drink nothing, not drinking my food down with anything. I have to drink something. So if I'm eating, then I'm drinking, right? I'm drinking my water. When I first wake up, I'm drinking lots of water. Even throughout the night, I be waking up and I be dry mouth. I have to drink my water. And what I realized is that, you know, just breastfeeding and pumping really makes me dehydrated as well. And so I have to make sure that I have my water bottle on me. Yeah, so drinking, 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 drinking. Drinking water, that is. Water, okay, sis? I mean, here and there, I be wanting some juice. And I'll drink some juice. I might drink some pop here and there. I might drink some coffee in the morning, some tea in the morning. Might have me a glass of wine here and there, but majority of the time, I'm drinking my water and I have my water bottle on me, okay? Number three, I would say is to be stress-free. You know, I feel like, you know, that's one of the things a lot of people don't talk about. And I know it's hard, like, a lot of women, you know, being pregnant, being a new mom, you know, adjusting to just the new lifestyle. It can be hard, it can become stressful, it can be depressing and things like that. Because when you are stressed, I feel like the two other tips, eating and drinking, I feel like you aren't doing that as much. So I feel like it's very important, like for me in my personal experience, when I am stressed, when I have a lot going on, when I have a lot on my mind, I'm not eating as much, I'm not drinking as much. And so therefore, what? I have a low milk production. And so I wanna make sure that, you know, I'm doing what I need to do and just taking it day by day. And um, I'm not putting a lot of, I'm not putting a lot on myself. And I'm also asking for help when I need it. And with that, that it just helps me to make sure that, you know, I am taking care of myself and taking care of my body and I'm doing what I need to do. I'm producing milk for my baby. So yes, mommy is working on staying stress-free. I feel like that's a huge, huge point there. Just taking care of yourself is, is really key and producing milk because like I said, it, it goes hand in hand with just making sure that you're eating, making sure that you're drinking lots of water and just taking care of yourself. All right, so on to tip number four. So tip number four is just pumping more and pumping between feeding. So if you're like strictly just breastfeeding, of course you're not gonna produce as much milk than somebody who is pumping and breastfeeding as well. 
So, but if you are looking to just increase your milk production, then definitely try to pump as much as possible. I know for me personally, I was, when I first started, I was pumping like every three to four hours. Now, um, and that was like almost like pumping four to five, almost six times a day. But now, I only pump twice a day. I pump in the morning, and if I need to go, if I like completely need to, like my breasts are like super sore, then I will pump more. But I try to just pump twice a day. And I will also include like some clips of like, you know, how much milk that I've saved up. And I've also given a lot of milk away to like my sister. But definitely, I feel like the more that you are pumping, the better your chances at increasing your milk production. And for me personally, I am, pumping and breastfeeding so I do well now that I'm not working right now um, I am like breastfeeding throughout the day and then in the morning time I'll pump and then later on at night I will pump again and then throughout the night I will just strictly breastfeed and then throughout the day I will like breastfeed or I'll give her a bottle of the milk that I've already pumped so that's usually like how my schedule is if you guys are interested in me posting like a video of me just pumping throughout the day and or just pumping and breastfeeding throughout the day just let me know leave me a comment in the comment section I will be happy to do that but you guys just let me know and then tip number five so tip number five is just having a pumping schedule so um back when I was pumping at least four to five times a day um i will pump right when i wake up and i was getting up around like 6 a.m 5 30 a.m and i would pump that would be the first thing that i would do i would pump and then around maybe 11 i would say 11 i will pump again no, actually i will pump again around 10. yep i will pump again around 10 i'll pump and then i'll pump again around two and then when i get home i'll pump again around six and then i'll pump again before i go to bed like around 10. so yeah i was pumping a lot and i've noticed that when i'm pumping for a shorter period of time i see that my milk production is slowly but surely decreasing which is letting my body know that okay maybe i don't need as much milk and so my body isn't producing as much if i want to increase my milk production that i am taking more time out of my day to pump so that's why i really love the fact that i have a portable um, hands-free breast pump that way i can just slip them on and then i can go on throughout my day and um i can walk around i can do stuff i can handle business while i'm also pumping i don't even realize that i'm even pumping for an hour and so I think it's important that if you can't afford it to just get a hands-free breast pump i'm telling you it's a game changer for real when i was pregnant with my first all i had was a spectrum breast pump where i had to plug into the wall and i had to sit there and i had to pump and i just did not like that it was super draining and i wanted to give up pumping so bad i didn't like the fact that i had to sit down and pump and just sit there and wait like i didn't like that and so definitely invest in a hands-free breast pump i would say it, it really helped me a lot and i still use mine to, and i love it so having a schedule for myself really helped me to make sure that i was producing a lot of milk and that i was able to provide for my baby and also to make sure that i stay on top of it because it lets my body know like okay i need this amount of milk and then tip number six i would say to pump for a longer amount of time. I noticed that when I'm running low or my milk production is really low, then I would need to pump for a longer period of time. I'll pump up to 30 minutes to 45 minutes up to an hour. I will pump for a much longer time, letting my body know that I need to produce more milk. But those are all the tips that I have for you guys. Those are tips that, I, like I said, that have helped me and that are still helping me to this day. And if you found this helpful, make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you enjoyed watching, make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you you guys do not miss out on another upload and i will see you all on the next video 